The national president of the Association of Macro Entrepreneurs of Nigeria, Prince Xavier Iche, said the business member organization BMO has over 20,000 membership across the nation and findings have been made by stakeholders to ascertain who purportedly benefited from the 7 billion naira allocation to micro entrepreneurs, but none gave positive response. Amen is demanding to know the names and companies of micro entrepreneurs the 7 billion naira was allocated. It said the only real recognized micro entrepreneurs association is the five which makes up BMO, including Asburn, Man, Amen, Nasemi, and Nase, and none has benefited so far. The national president of Amen, Prince Xavier Iche, joins me now to share more insights. Good morning to you, Prince Xavier. Thanks for joining us on Business Insights. Uh, good morning. Good as my Yes, it is indeed our pleasure. Yeah, from my intro, you talked, you convened a, a press briefing about two weeks ago, and you were talking about uh, a, a purported seven billionaire that was meant for SMEs that Smedden, you know, uh, claimed to have distributed to your membership or small businesses. So far, you're seen that um, you're not aware of this. Can you share more insight concerning that? Okay, um, thank you very much. Um, actually, the, the news from uh, the Smedian that um, 7 billion have been given to micro in the entrepreneurs, to me and to us you know, in the industry, it sounds very, very uh, shocking because we are very surprised that uh, how such money could be able to you know, be released without the stakeholders being carried along. So to us, you know, it's, it is just uh, uh, another way of uh, eating money, you know, that's uh, taking money for, you know, using our micro entrepreneurs as uh, a step good of uh, looting. So to us, it sounds as very surprising. All right. Uh, so, so far before now, how has um, the relationship, Prince, can you hear us? All right, uh, we'll take a break and see if we can reconnect with them for safer each. We seem to be having some connectivity issue because we really need to know how um, the relationship um, um, has been between Smedden and, of course, uh, there's some um, small businesses and know how uh, we can move forward in terms of um, funding of small businesses in the country. It's still Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. We'll take a quick break and uh, hopefully we'll join uh, Prince Sefer Iche in a moment. Stay with us. All right, welcome back. It's still Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. Before we took that break, we were speaking with Prince Xavier Chair, and we we're looking at small uh, business funding in the country and um, the role or inactions of Smedet. Uh, Prince uh, Ichi, thanks for staying with us. Thank you. All right, so I, I lost you at a bit. I wanted to find out um, the relationship between this small business that's a man. Amen, uh, Asbon, and Naseme and Nase over time, you know, uh, what's the relationship been like in terms of um, getting this grant and funding so for small businesses? Um, actually, you see, in Nigeria, as I always said, if I have such a, uh, this type of opportunity, um, SMEs in Nigeria, you can see that most of the, um, the grants the federal government have, have claimed to be given to micro entrepreneurs. Actually, the money is being released to the to the appropriate uh, people, but the problem is um, the people that ought to execute, you know, uh, or giving out this uh, money to people like uh, like us, the micro entrepreneurs, are not giving it to us. So as I always said, uh, they, they are giving it to the to the ghost entrepreneurs. You know, it's not getting to us because if it's getting for us, the, the the problem Nigeria is facing now, the the issue of a rising cost of dollar and everything is is attributed to uh, non uh, efficiency of, of the micro enterprise in Nigeria and what is the cost? So the cost is. The, the micro entrepreneurs have been neglected of, uh, of, over the time. So the money is not getting to, to people like us. So that is the problem. And that is why when this issue of, uh, of uh, a news from uh, Smith and came up, we were even surprised. How can you give seven billion to a group without them knowing? 
All right. Okay. So, so as it is right now, you know, what um, aside from asking for the probe of, um, you know, Smerden, what have you done over the years in terms of uh, maybe uh, having meetings with uh, the federal government or Ministry of um, Trade and of course in investments? so that um, these businessmen uh, or entrepreneurs can actually get direct, since over the years, uh, issues of um, you know, financial infractions have um, come to bear when it comes to disbursement of um, these fundings. Yes, um, before that, we have bring uh, uh, most of uh, you know, options, some um, intervention, some ideas you know, to the federal government. We have told them that this money is of putting this money online because you are applying for a loan online. We don't know actually if we are successful or not. The advice we are giving to government is they should keep this money in commercial banks where every entrepreneur can go. All right. There will be an entrepreneur desk where we can go there and the, they can be able to assess us. All right. Okay. When they go there, they can be able to know through our data if really we are entrepreneurs or not. But in a situation whereby it's, it's been applied online, you, there's nobody that's, that's, you cannot be able to hold one or two person responsible if the money is not being given to us. So that's the problem. All right, okay, so just uh, recently too, um, the BOI uh, was in the news and it said something about also releasing funds uh, to small businesses. Uh, are you aware of this funding? And so far, uh, how have um, small businesses been able to benefit from the BOI in terms of um, funding? The, the, let me tell you the truth. BOI, but to us as micro entrepreneurs, we are forgetting about BOI because BOI are not for, we are talking of small business. If you go to BOI, for instance, for, for loan, the condition they are giving to multinational companies, example, Dan Kote and the other big companies, is the same condition they are giving to people like us. People who are going to, to uh, uh, for loan of uh, 2 million, uh, 5 million, uh, it's the same condition. And none of us can be able to meet this condition. And I've challenged back of industry most times to, to write or bring uh, uh, into the limelight the people that are giving this money. Who are they giving this money? If they are giving this, uh, uh, give this money to, to micro entrepreneurs, Nigeria will not be, be, be depending on, on foreign products. Right? So yeah. Nigeria will not depend on foreign products. So this money I'm not getting for what was like because back of industry, I've challenged them to have that number and I've called them. Anytime I'm ready to face them, all right, on the national television or anywhere they want, let them come and bring the facts, the figures, the names and the addresses of the people that they have given the money. All right, everyone is aware of um, the economic uh, issues and the economic challenges that is plaguing the country right now with uh, food uh, hike everywhere and uh, commodities generally on the rise as in, in terms of prices. Now, specifically, how would you say the economic issues, the inflation have impacted directly on small businesses? The inflation we are talking about. See, Nigeria, the problem we are having is, is man-made problem. Mm. The policies, right? The government policies. I want to tell you that go and do your investigation very well. For the past three years, we, Nigeria have lost almost 48% of their local manufacturers because of inflation. For instance, there's a, a chemical we are buying for 14,000 naira in 2015. Today, that chemical is 148,000 naira. Hmm. So if, if a man is doing business with, with 500,000 naira and the, there is no intervention, there are no financial intervention, what it means, that person will close up. We have lost most entrepreneurs because of inflation. And what is the cause of this inflation? The, at the border, or at, at the wharf, the government keep on increasing 
the, the tariff, increasing the amount that the, the importers are using to clear their, their, uh, their goods in the world. Of, uh, of reason, for three, for three, they have increased the, the money for in the world for three times now. Mm. As of uh, the last time, it, it was 9.5 9 million. But so today, it's about 100,000 million for you to clear one, con uh, one container. What the government will do in order to save us the remaining 52% of micro enterprises not to die is at the wharf. They should, they should reduce the, 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 the tariff, the money they are used to, to, to clear goods, especially chemicals, machineries, and every other thing that, con that consign oh. micro entrepreneurs. If they can be able to reduce oh. the cost of uh, the cost of clearing goods in the wharf, the price will come down naturally. All right. All right, Prince um, Xavier uh, I'm afraid that's as much as we have time for on the show this morning. But uh, we must say a very big thank you to you for all of this insight that you have mentioned today. And, of course, this issue of Smerden, we just trust that um, the issue will be nipped in the board so small businesses can actually get this funding and not um, just on the pages of newspapers and television like we usually hear. Thank you so much once again for your time. Thank you for having me. All right, and that's the size of the show. My guest has been Prince Che, the president, national president of Amen. And um, I am Justin Akadani. Many thanks for being a part of the show. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.